What's going on, everyone? Might go back with a little recap of day one for me at the 2018 National. Obviously, it's the second day, but, you know, it is late. It's been a long few days, but it's been a lot of fun, and I just wanted to recap today so you can kind of see what I've been up to, chat a little bit, and, you know, it archives for me the experience I've had. So it's been a blast yesterday. Wednesday was a travel day. Spent seven hours on the turnpike, so got through it. Got through it all right. Met up with Dave's Midlife Card Crisis and Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards last night. Hung out for a little while. Got a couple hours of sleep, and then today was just your typical long first day of the National. Walked in, met up with some other YouTubers, and then start browsing and browsing and the show, as always, a little overwhelming. It's huge. It's just a lot to take in. And it was uh, it was kind of a browse, look around day. Picked up a few things. Nothing uh, nothing too crazy. little stack here, which I'll share with you brief, shortly. But, you know, the National, again, especially if you're part of this community, is just a blast. It's a ton of fun meeting up with everyone, talking, chatting. And then, of course, being surrounded in the cards and... Just checking things out. I mean, even if you don't have a big budget, just looking at some of the amazing stuff here is just, it's a blast. So I can't wait for day two. Let's get into the cards I picked up. As an Allen and Ginter fan, I always have my eyes open for any Ginter autos and found a couple of them. They were cheap, like $2 autos. So we got Edgar Gonzalez. Do not know a whole lot about him. Um, brother of Adrian, but... Not a big name, but probably never going to see him again. Picked up a Heath Bell. Again, it's Heath Bell. It's not a big deal. Made a few All-Star games, but it's a nice Ginter for the Ginter collection. Picked up one Phillies auto here. It's just the first Bowman of Medina. He's, uh, he's a big prospect with the Phils, so I think he's number two or three on their prospect list. It was cheap. It was only a couple bucks, so I figured I'd pick it up. That signature certainly leaves a lot to be desired, so he might need to work on that a little bit. And then I hit up a dollar box, picked up a pair of Jim Tomey rookies. So a little Tomey action. Not too bad there for a buck. This guy's having a rough year, but Eric Hosmer rookies. Buck a piece from Topps Update, which is obviously at this point becoming a legendary set back there in the day. He's a Madison Bumgarner rookie. Again, for a buck. Can't go wrong with it. Chris Sale, first Bowman. That's a nice card again. One dollar, Chris Sale. One of these guys in the hobby that's just super underrated. Does not get a lot of hobby love, but this dude's incredible. He's a nice Chris Davis. This is the uh, Chrome Sapphire Edition. It's one of the exclusive sets they put out. Uh, at the end of the year. These things are like $1,500 a set or something crazy. You know, now and then if I find singles. Not doing it justice on camera there. But beautiful looking card. A few Phillies pickups. Jimmy Rollins, blue refractor. Older finest product, numbered to 150. Aaron Nola, Bowman's best refractor. It's not bad there. For a buck. Thought this was kind of cool. An old Bowman's Best. Best cuts from 2000 and... What is this? Or 1997, I should say. Nice card. Again, for a dollar. Someone, I believe it was Hitman23, picked up this Darrell Revis. Nice uh, Pats card there. You know, well known for a Jet, but did win a Super Bowl. As my roommate knows, he's not a fan of uh, that uniform, though. Yeah. <laughs> and Screw then the Patriots. <laughs> got a Jets fan in the background. Oh, and then we, it's an enchanter, man. <laughs> and then we got a nineteen ninety one Fleer Ultra update, Mike Mucina, PSA Mint nine. Obviously would prefer a gem ten on that for the potential future Hall of Famer. But at four dollars and then twenty five percent off, so this card costs three bucks. Three bucks for that card. Can't go wrong with that. I know Baseball Collector picked one up as well. I was uh, with him when we found this one. And 
got the better deal there. Speaking of baseball collector, had an opportunity to meet him in person for the first time today. Got a custom card signed there, so nice one for the YouTube PC. He also provided me with the sweet patch, YouTube Hall of Fame patch. So the contest that he did, you know, was obviously a unbelievable success. Uh, it was a lot of fun following the contest, and it's an honor to have uh, been voted in. So, Mike, thank you for providing that. And then I also met it come off an egg today and got his uh, his custom auto on the top loader. So it's a sweet top loader auto with a bonus Pat Velaka auto, which is obviously the lesser of the desirable autographs on that. But it was just really a good time, ton of fun. Uh, at this point, at the time of this video, which I am doing live just due to ease, um, it's what, about 2 a.m., so it's a little late. Uh, yesterday was a really long day. Today was a long day. The National, again, it's a tremendous amount of fun. It's an absolute blast, but physically it can take a toll on you when you're uh, you're just out there walking and, you know, you get distracted. You're conversing, having a great time, and you then all of a sudden realize, well, I've been on my feet for about 10 hours. So you do have to kind of take a step back and relax. So it should be a lot of fun. Looking forward to doing a few more recaps, breaking some stuff, and, you know, making some videos, talking to some some people, meeting up with people. That's all going to be awesome. And then, uh, of course, checking out some more cards, hopefully picking up a few for the collection and maybe breaking some stuff. So should all be a lot of fun. So thank you guys for watching. Comment below. Let me know what you think of the pickups of the National. If you guys are at the National or if you're coming to the National, let me know. And I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one. Go Jets.